And to finish up this video series, we are going to download our IEC project into an HMC 3102A-M and test our program using the screen that we created to make sure that our scaling function works. And then we're also going to go online with the HMC unit just to show how you can watch your logic in real time. So again, I'm going to add in a power on task for this uh, unit so that I don't have to listen to the beeps as I'm pressing buttons. I'm going to save and compile. And now we're going to download to our unit. Make sure that the firmware is checked. Our project has downloaded to the unit now. And so we're going to use our increment and decrement buttons to change the values for our temperatures. So our input temperature goes up and we see that the Fahrenheit value has been scaled. And we can also use the numeric entry button that we created for our uh, Celsius temperatures to change that temperature manually and watch it change to the new temperature in Fahrenheit. So if we put in 100 in Celsius, it changes to 212 Fahrenheit. And if we put in 50 for a Celsius temperature, it changes to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can watch our raw input go up and the voltage go up at the same time. We can enter in a number, let's say 5,000, and watch it display our voltage as 6.11 volts. And we can watch our temperatures go negative. In order to go online with an IEC project, you need to have an additional communications driver installed. You can do that by going to the Tools Install Virtual Driver. Uh, I have already installed it. It is a quick installation, but it is required for online monitoring in IEC mode. And so we can set our online monitoring communications settings here. We are going to use USB. And let's go online. We can change any of these values by double clicking and typing in a value. When going into a function block that has multiple instances, you need to select which instance you would like to look at. Let's look at the Celsius to Fahrenheit instance. Let's look at the input to volts. You can force and lock a value. If the value is locked, Mapware will prevent any other logic in the block from overriding the forced value, and parameters that are locked appear in double square brackets. This completes the Mapware 7000 Getting Started Guide. Hopefully you now feel more familiar with the Mapware 7000 programming environment. Although not all features available in Mapware 7000 or the HMC series have been covered, we have taken our first steps in using the software and becoming familiar with device operation. We have programmed in both the native ladder and IEC modes. We have created user-defined function blocks. We have created multiple instances of user-defined function blocks. In IEC mode, we've used three different logic editors, ladder logic, function block, and structured text. And we've shown different ways to initialize variables. I hope that this has been a valuable tutorial series for you. And if you have any further questions, please contact us at support at maplesystems.com.